Hello YouTubers, thank you so much for coming to my channel. My name is Wendy Shenarigan and um, I am here just to give you a little update on how I am organizing my life. I feel as if I am just um, been inundated with a lot of different things and forgetting a lot of to do. So today I'm going to tell you how I am have how I have started organizing my life. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button or like and comment and let me know what, know what you do to organize. So that because I think commenting is going to help not just myself but other um, viewers as well. So today I'm going to show you my to do list. I'm going to show you my organizer. I'm going to show you what I have started to do in October that has actually been very influential with organizing my life. The first thing I do is on month, Sunday nights while I'm just relaxing in bed, I um, create my to-do list for both home and work, and then I'll also update my planner. Now, I'm, I switched over my planner, so I'm still using my old planner, but I've switched over to a new one, which I would like to get to you, um, show to you. I do want to also point out to you that in October is the month where I normally do my kind of like retrospect for the entire year. I don't do that in December or January. So my new year actually starts in October. So in October, I started this fresh new thing about staying organized. And each year I have a theme, not a resolution, a theme. I want to stay organized in 2019. And I feel like if I start in October, I can, um, the habit will be there so when you start in 2019 in January, you're already started and you're up and rolling. You're ready to roll. So hopefully what I show you will help you a little bit. And if it doesn't, tell me why not and tell me what you plan to do to organize your life for 2019 or starting now. All right, let's get started. It's the blank to do sheet that I am using to ensure that I write down what, what I need to do for the week. And if you're anything like me, I um, have so much to do at home and at work that I sometimes forget a lot of things. So what I'm starting to do is create these um, to-do sheets. And I have one for home and one for work. I've been doing this for the past three weeks. And this week I kind of slipped and this is Wednesday and I feel like my life is just in shambles. So I want to go through with you how I'm going to fill out my to-do list. I'm going to do one for home and one for work. Again, I started on Wednesday because Monday and Tuesday I was just bad. But as you can see, I made myself a little to-do list and I'm able to put down um, areas where I can just do it like, kind of like a check off. And um, I had some stickers here that I use um, from a previous um, planner and um, that didn't, I didn't use all of it. So let me see if I can grab some, yeah. So here are some stickers that I used to put on there just to make it look nice and cute. Um, but what I've, I'm doing is I'm leaving Thursday a little bit open because I have so much to do that I kind of like did a brain dump here. And so if I don't get it done, I just put an arrow over to Thursday. That way I know I need to get it done on Thursday. And then I will check it off here once I've done it on Thursday. Um, and so this is kind of like my to do this. And what I do is I put this in my lunch pile here. Yes, I am a Redskins fan. Hell to the skins. And so while I'm at work, I can check it off like during my break or what have you um, once I've done it um, at work. I also have a work to-do list, which I can't show you all because it's privy, but I do the same thing here. And I also am able to check with my manager just to make sure I am prioritizing, you know, um, the right way. So I also wanted to show you this because I am supposed to be going grocery shopping. And so I have this up in my kitchen. This is great. I got this from, um, I think it was Home Goods. And so whenever we're out of something, um, I will check it off here or my husband will check it off here. And as you can see, it has a lot of um, the main things here. So what I'm about to go is I, I just grab my grocery bags, um, my reusable grocery bags. I grab this and my coupons and I'm ready to roll. And before I leave, I make sure I grab this. It's right front and center. It's right next to where I put my grocery bags. So I can't forget it. So location is key when it comes to organizing. So that's what I do there. So let's go over to the planner that I was trying to use this year that just did not work for me. So this is the 2018 planner I was trying to use earlier this year. Um, I did get it from Target and I wanted it small enough to fit into my computer bag. But the problem with that is that I would put it in my computer bag and it was so small I would forget it. 
or I'll put it in my purse and it was so small I would forget it. But the great part about it is that it allows you to have places where you can put in um, your routines, your um, goals for the years, and seven, seven, et cetera, et cetera. So it has the monthly view, and then it also has the individual um, um, to-do list tab, um, and it has um, what to do for the week. But it just wasn't enough for me, enough space for me to put everything in there for my work and also for my um, home. So, and then I always would forget it. So also in the back, it has a little note section, that, which I have been using. So I'm going to continue to use this, use this until the end of the year, but I will not purchase this too much. If you're like me, I'm kind of like, um, if you don't see it, you, you won't, you'll forget about it. So I purchased this calendar for 2019. It's bigger. Um, I love the color, of course, for my sorority. Um, and... It gives you stickers. If you need stickers, it's in there. I got this from Target, by the way. And it is the, um, here you are, Mary Designs. Um, and I actually really like this. It has the yearly view. And um, it has, you know, your quick reference guides. Like if you need some quick numbers, some quick contacts. I do plan to put some other things in there as well. I also like this because it has the bigger monthly view. So I'm able to put a lot of cool stickers here, make it look nice and pretty. Hey, babe. Yeah. It's my son. Um, and then each day it has more room for me to put down my to-do list. And I really feel as if I can do both my home and my business in one planner. Um, I don't want to use multiple planners for my home and my business because then I'm going to forget one at home and and then I would need the other. I just know myself. So this is the planner that I plan to use. Um, I can't wait to use it. Again, it's all about organization this year and it's all about, you know, staying on task and staying organized, especially since my business is going great and all of that next stuff. So it does have a great place where you could put notes as well. So, um, and let's see, in the back, it has some additional places where you could put notes. And the inside binder is just so cute. Look at that design, you guys. Look at that design. So, again, I do plan on every Sunday evening while I'm watching YouTube videos um, or while you're watching YouTube videos, I'm planning out my week. Every Sunday, I'm, I've put it in a routine, and I promise you that when you don't do that, after you've done it for like a week or two, you miss it, and you kind of feel a little bit lost. So um, that's how I am organizing my life right now. I will let you know how it is going, and um, if you have any other type of organization ideas, please let me know. And again, I got both of these from Target, um, and I got this from Home Goods. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe. And again, comment. Let me know what you do. If I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. I need some help here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.